if n is a positive integer, is 1 tenth to the power of n less than 0 0.01. Let's think about this for a minute. n is a positive integer, so it's going to be values like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So if we take 1 tenth to the power of 1, that's 0 0.1. 1 tenth to the power of 2, that's 0 0.01. 1 tenth to the power of 3, that's 0 0.001. 1 tenth to the power of 4, that's 0 0.0001. And I think you see the pattern here. If n equals 1 or 2, then the inequality would not be true. The inequality would be false. But if n is 3 or more, then the inequality is true. So really, it's this question in a sneaky way is just asking us, is n bigger than 2 or is n not bigger than, or is n 2 or less? So, statement number 1 tells us quite explicitly n is greater than 2. Well, because we did a little bit of analysis beforehand, we realized that statement number 1 is just handing us the answer on a silver platter. So this statement is sufficient. Statement number 2, a little bit trickier. What we get is 10 to the n minus 1 is less than 0.1. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, let's take this equation and multiply both sides by 1 tenth. Well, on the left side, what we get is 1 tenth to the n minus 1 times 1 tenth. And of course, we'll use the law of exponents that says a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n. And of course, when we add the exponents, what we just wind up with is 10 to the n. Meanwhile, 1 tenth times 1 tenth gives us 1 hundredth. So this statement, when we just multiply each side by 1 tenth, leads directly to the statement that we need. It verifies the statement that we need. So this statement by itself is also sufficient. If all this talk about exponents is making your head spin, please check out Magoosh.com. Magoosh.com is an online test prep agency. We prepare people for the GMAT. We have a few hundred math videos to prepare people. We also have a few hundred on the verbal side. And these videos include videos that will explain everything you need to know about decimals and about exponents in order to be successful on the GMAT. So statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice D.